empirically, conventional wisdom has told us that demand is price elastic. Demand for any good or service will in fact go up as price goes down. We were interested many years ago in testing whether this was true for hospitality products. My finance colleague, Linda Canina, and I conducted a study in 2004 with Mark Lomano of Smith Travel Research in which we explored whether hotels that priced below their competition had greater demand and higher top line performance. That original study looked at over 6,000 hotels between 2001 and 2003. And we found in that study that hotels with prices lower than their competitive set did actually capture greater market share. But, and this became the important piece of our first study, they did not have higher RevPARs. So while we can answer the question that demand does respond to price, it doesn't respond sufficiently to price to overset the loss in revenue per available room. In our second study, what we found was that actually the results were the same in both periods, in both good times and bad times. Our pattern for this seven year time period clearly showed us that the idea that you can generate demand by dropping price, while still true, did not allow those hotels to offset their RevPAR declines. We also turned to Asia. And in Asia, we did a study in which we examined 14 different Asian Pacific countries. And again, we found almost similar results. In the Asian markets, pricing below your competition, we believe, is a signal it may be a signal of a lower quality product, and as a result, you did not even get the demand boost, the market share bump, from lowering your prices relative to your competition. In our most recent study, we were interested in trying to understand the pricing behavior of hotels over time. We had previously explored hotels relative to their competitive set, and in this particular study, we wanted to explore exactly what happens when a hotel chooses to maintain price stability over time or prices higher or lower than it used to price relative to its competitive set. In this study, and this study was conducted between 2007 and 2009, we looked at 22,000 hotel observations. Our primary agenda was to understand this shifting behavior. We found that the most popular strategy for lower priced hotels was to shift to higher price positions. And we also found that this was probably the most desirable strategy. That indeed, if they moved pricing categories upward, even during a period of time, 2007 to 2009, when the economy itself and the hotel industry was suffering some severe recessionary behaviors, that even during these bad times, they managed to produce higher overall RevPAR growth than had they maintained stable or lowered their prices. For higher priced hotels, an extremely popular strategy was for them to lower their price categories during this period of time. And while this was the most popular strategy for higher priced hotels, clearly responding, we believe, to the competitive dynamics, it was not the best strategy, particularly when it came to RevPAR growth. So the best strategies overall were those in which hotels shifted to higher price categories. If they did not shift to a higher price category, the next logical strategy would be to maintain price stability. Clearly, managing the portfolio, trying to produce special promotions to incentivize is a good idea. There's a difference between tactical promotions and pricing to elicit certain kinds of behavior from customers that's short term. And maintaining an overall pricing strategy that allows you to consistently and clearly convey to the customer the value of your hotel product. Our advice for individuals who are trying to work through how to best price in the future is to think right price. Of course, you're going to have multiple rates uh, for all sorts of different businesses. You're going to have promotions and discounts. You're going to be moving a lot in the dynamic pricing domain. But think about price optimization. First, build a clear and compelling value proposition so that you can differentiate your hotel to a targeted customer. It erodes 
uh, that terrible threat of competitive convergence that we see with brand proliferation. The other thing is maintaining rate integrity does not mean never da discounting. What rate integrity means is finding that right price and making sure that you're not held captive by what I call your dumbest competitor. When they drop price, it's very tempting for you to follow suit. But what we continue to see in all these studies is that those that do price above their competitive set ultimately make more top line revenue per available room over an extended period of time. So all of our studies continue to tell individuals to be clear about their pricing, to have confidence, and to work on price optimization.